Hello everyone and welcome back to Coin Doctor. In this video I will be talking about the Tetradrams of Abdera Thrace. And not many people know about Abdera Thrace, but their Tetradrams are equally rare and beautiful and they can get a little expensive. So it's kind of a treat to get to see some of these and look at them and learn about them. So let's get started. Tetradram production began in Abdera Thrace in the late 6th century BC. The earliest Tetradrams featured a very crude griffin on the obverse and an archaic incus on the reverse. An incus was a very common reverse in archaic times because of its simplicity. As technology improved, however, the incus was abandoned and a reverse was added. This is the first archaic type and it was produced from 520 to 500 BC. It shows a griffin seated left with its forepaw raised, and then on the reverse it's a quadripartite incus square. And the second archaic type began production around 492 BC. These have a more modern approach and are much more common than the archaic type. There are many varieties and different legends as well. Even though they are under the same class, the second archaic type has much more eye appeal. There are some funny monograms on the obverse that is very unique. For example, there's a potbelly cedar monogram, there's another monogram with the cicada, and there's another one with the flattened fish. And the tetradrams from this type follow the Phoenician standard of 10.45 grams per tetradram, but it is unknown which mint this type was minted at. So this picture um, shows the second archaic type that was produced from 492 to 450 BC and you can see the more modern uh, quadripartite incus and then the griffin with the satyr monogram. So now we're out of the archaic style and we're into the intermediate style. And these intermediate styles were minted under dozens of magistrates. This type right here was minted under magistrate Kaladamas. Even though some archaic types were minted under magistrates, the intermediate type is mostly associated with them. So again, this one's under Magistrate Kaladamas, and it was minted from 450 to 425 BC. Some dedicated collectors like to have an example of all the magistrates, and depending on the magistrate, the value can vary. In order to identify which magistrate the coin was minted under, you have to look at the legend. Read the legend counterclockwise to figure out the name. So here's some examples. This one's from Magistrate Pythines. This one was produced from 450 to 425 BC, and you can see on the reverse, uh, Pythene's monogram name in Greek. So this one was under Magistrate Melanippo and again you can see um, on the incus you see Melanippo in Greek. There are subtypes belonging to the intermediate style and it features the same design only with Dionysus or Apollo in the reverse. And these were mainly based on legacy purposes and they're extremely rare with only a handful in existence. So the Dionysus type was struck under Magistrate Anaxipolis and Apollo was struck under magistrates Apollodas and Kalanax. It can get very confusing, but these were struck in a 100 year period from 430 to 330 BC. Here's the one of Dionysus. It shows Di Dionysus advancing left holding a cup with a chitin draped over his arm. And this was produced from 385 to 375 BC. Here's one from Mal magistrate Kalanax. Um, it shows Apollo holding a patera in his right hand branching to the side. There's also a stag standing to the left, and this was from 386 to 375 BC. The different magistrates in charge could change the reverse designs of the coin to make it unique of their own reign. It was important in ancient Greece to preserve one's legacy, so it was accepted that if one was forgotten after three generations. It makes sense why there's so many changes in coinage from this type. This one's from Magistrate Apollo Das. And it shows Apollo again, but he is nude over with a laurel wreath and a calamus over his shoulders. This time he's holding Nike instead of a stag walking by him. This one was from 411 to 386 BC. So finally we have the modern style. As the last style before the occupation of kings, the new style tetradrams exhibit major changes to the reverse. There are also many small types, but I'm going to focus on two. All types are ridiculously expensive, and these types are no exception. One that really sticks out is extremely rare tetradram with the rare Perseidic standard of around 11 grams per tetradram. These were rarely circulated out of Thrace and were only minted when the Persian Empire occupied the region. This type also overlaps with the intermediate type. The dates that I tell you may not be completely accurate. Here's one of the Persiatic standard. It shows the head of Apollo right and the griffin crouching left. This one was under Magistrate Dionysodos. This type is regarded as the most beautiful of the series. Most examples are very well struck and the flans are made almost perfectly. There are three magistrates that these were minted on. Pythes, Pyodorus, and Hippocanados. Again, they are minted under the Persiac standard. Here's one of Hippocanado. It shows the griffin crouching left, raising his right foreleg, and then we have the lord head of Apollo again. Along with Dionysus and Apollo, Magistrate Polycrates minted a reverse including Artemis. 
This was one of the last issues minted before the age of the Thrashing Kings. Here's one with Artemis. It was minted from 386 to 375 BC. It shows the griffin, the classic griffin on the obverse, and then Artemis with a stag on the reverse. So that's an introduction to the Tetradrams of Abdera Thrace. There are many more, but I thought that's a good introduction if you guys want to start learning about these in depth. They're very beautiful, and this is probably the one of the best uh, coinage from Thrace besides Byzantium, which is my favorite city-state from Thrace. If you like this video, make sure you subscribe to my channel and like this video. And if someone's interested in this kind of stuff, make sure you send them this video as well. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Goodbye.